guys welcome back to my channel today I will be doing a painting video for you the supplies that you will need will be listed in the description box so you can check there today I will be finishing off this piece I started this already and I thought it would have been a good idea to show you guys how I do it this is how it will look in the end and I do have a coat of epoxy on it. So I went ahead and did the background and I drew in my flamingo. I painted my flamingo already. I already put up my fence. So I'm going to go ahead and paint my fence. I am using Tester Craft Mac White. You can use whatever you have on hand. I'm also using Apple Barrel Purple Iris. And this is not a sponsored video. But if you do want to sponsor your girl, go ahead and drop me a message. I'm also using Tester Craft Matte Sunshine. And I have a tray here with different colors in it and this tray is from Sargent Art Inc and I'm going to use the green out of this. You also need any brush of your preference. The brush that I'm using doesn't have any name on it. But this is how it looks. So I'm going to go ahead and I purposely did not take this one off just so I can show you guys how I do it. So I will go ahead and use my masking tape to tape off the back. So when it's time for me to do my epoxy, I would not have to worry about that. Quickly take this off. And that is fine if I get a little bit of paint on it already because it's acrylic water base paint. These are wooden panels that I'm using. And if you watch my unboxing video, you would have seen these in my Amazon unboxing video. If you haven't watched this yet, go ahead and watch it and come back. You will also need a cup with some water because this is a water-based paint. And I use six Q-tips that I tie together with a rubber band. And you need a towel of some sort or rag to dry off your brushes. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start with my white. And I'm working right over the cover. If you are wondering what is all this in front of me, I am challenging myself to make 50 posters in one week. So far, I am up to 32. So I'm gonna do this first one. And then I will speed up the rest because this is time that someone just want to do it really neat and clean. So 
So I'm gonna go ahead and put two to three coats of white, just simply because the white is a water-based paint, so it isn't as pigment as I would like it. Don't forget to trace over the pencil lines. Scenery for this poster is from Industrial Gardens in Nassau, Bahamas. Industrial Gardens is known for pink flamingos. A lot of natives and tourists go there to see the show about the pink flamingos and the snakes, the parrots and different animals that they have. So if you are on vacation or plan on coming on vacation to the Bahamas, don't forget to check out Adashra Gardens and Zoo. Before I put an accent white dot. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe, thumbs up this video, and share, share, share so that you can be a part of the family if you are new. Thank you for joining. If you are a good and oldie, welcome back. I appreciate each and every one of you. And thank you for expanding my family. I always wanted a big family, and I want to thank all of you for sticking it out with me from day one. And watching me bloom into a beautiful flower such as in a Dashra Gardens. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And out of 100 subscribers, I do want to do a small giveaway to one of my lucky viewers. So once I reach 100 subscribers on my channel, I will be doing a giveaway. I know definitely in the giveaway will be um, a makeup brush set. If you haven't watched my review on that Amazon brush set, go ahead and watch that video. So that brush, brush that I did do a review on, I will be including that in the giveaway. And if you do have any suggestions, go ahead and drop me a comment down below. If you want to speed up this blowing, if you want to speed up this drying process, you can go ahead and just blast it with a blow dryer. So I'm going to take the bottom of any small brush, dip it in my white paint, and just accent my flowers as if it is the white is a centerpiece. I did prime my wooden coaster with a white acrylic paint. So once this is dry, this will be ready for a thin coat of epoxy. So I'm going to give it a few minutes and then I'll let it dry and put a coat of epoxy. And this is, this set is a four piece. I'm a hot pot 